Look out in Turner on our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera. 53 degrees. You can see a little bit of a breeze there as well, but no rain coming down at the moment. We've had just a little bit of rain here in Portland, uh, measurable at PDX, only a hundredth of an inch so far. Definitely wetter out along the coast. Three tenths of an inch in Astoria, uh, or just about that, just over a tenth of an inch in Tillamook there as well. So. We're slowly adding to that total 0.74 inches for the month. We're about three quarters of an inch and we're going to be adding, I think, quite a bit more into tonight uh, as we start to see some wet weather moving in. That wet weather also going to bring more snow to the mountain. You can see the snow that we've had here for a couple days has actually stuck around. Temperatures are into the 30s there on our Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. We do have a winter weather advisory that goes into effect this evening, though, and runs until tomorrow morning. This is for above 4,000 feet, where we're expecting about 6 to 10 inches of snow to fall. We're also going to be seeing windy conditions with wind gusts about 40 miles per hour, so that could lead to blowing snow at times. You can see on the roads, nothing there right now, uh, just wet roads that people are dealing with, but we do expect that snow to accumulate into the passes this evening. Uh, between 3,000 to 4,000 feet, probably going to see about two to six inches. So just know that you will have to be dealing with some snowy driving conditions uh, if you're heading through the passes into tomorrow morning at all. We're also seeing uh, a little bit of snow accumulation there into the Blue Mountains as well. And windy conditions this evening. We're going to see winds 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the south with gusts around 30 miles per hour. So on the trash can wind gauge, we're saying that's about tipped over. The windy conditions will can continue into tonight. And then by tomorrow, we're really starting to see those winds die down. And into uh, early Thursday, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any terribly windy conditions. Those winds may be 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures are cool the next couple of days as well. We're into the mid 50s today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll see a few showers into the morning and then drier through the rest of the day. Thursday going to be a dry day as well and our warmest day, 61 degrees. We're uh, back to average or below average temperatures and they're sticking around, that's for sure. We turn rainy, rainy excuse me, into Friday evening and then that wet weather looks like it is going to be continuing through the weekend and into potentially the Halloween holiday. Looks like we could see some showers there for those trick-or-treaters. Of course, we'll be watching that evening time, uh, peak trick-or-treating times pretty closely as we get closer. Mia.